everyone and welcome back to the happy heart. I'm so glad that you've come back to the channel just to hang out and have fun. Today's video is going to be really really fun and I'm actually super excited to share more of myself with you guys. I do kind of a hodgepodge of videos on this channel but mostly it's just stuff that I'm interested in, DIY, shopping hauls, just fun stuff that I think would be a video that I would watch. So this video is gonna be an all about me video. Sometimes when you're watching people, I'm always curious about their lives and different aspects of their personality. And sometimes when you're watching videos, you just don't know. And it's hard to tell like what's real and what's not real. So I thought this would be a fun video just so I can get to know you guys better, you can get to know me better. And it kind of makes the videos fun when you get to know each other. This is gonna be the 25 things about me that you didn't know that I wanted to let you guys know. Number one, I am a stay-at-home mom for about a year now. I used to be a crazy workaholic. Now I'm a stay-at-home mom and I homeschool my son. And it's worked out really good for our family and it's been a really, really good choice. It's really hard to get used to. I commend anybody that stays home with their children because it is the hardest job ever. And I personally really like to work and go to a job and feel that simple sense of accomplishment. So for all of you who are out there working, I envy you a lot, but this has just been a much better decision for my family personally, and I have just seen tremendous reward from it. So it doesn't go without sacrifice, and it is really hard, but it's really good for my family. Second thing about me is I am actually a crazy Diet Cokeaholic. No joke, love Diet Coke, know it's terribly bad for me, know that it's doing all this harm to my body, but oh my gosh, I love it. I have been drinking it since high school, and I had a best friend whose parents drank it, and that was all that was under her house. So I got really used to drinking it, and now I just hate regular, any kind of regular soda, it just tastes super sweet to me. But even now, right over here, Diet Coke. It is definitely one of my addictions. Probably my only real true addiction. Number three, super easy one. Just kind of a fun fact. I love pink, I love red, and I gravitate towards those colors. So when I'm like picking stuff out, especially like makeup, you'll see I'll wear like a lot of like rose kind of colors. And those, oh, they're just my colors. I don't know. I just have always liked them. I use them on my house here and there. Not quite as much as I used to, but they're still my favorites. Number four, I am actually like a true writer in my soul writer. I have never been published. <laughs> I actually write a couple of different blogs and do things like that. Oh my gosh, there are times where like I have to write to be able to go to sleep. There are times where I just need to like get this story out, this feeling out. There are tons of times where like I don't even know what's wrong with me and I just sit down and I just start writing and it comes out and I'm like, oh, I didn't even know I was upset about that. And I've been doing this probably my whole life. My mom used to tell me that when I was like, before I could write, I would be in my room with a journal, like writing, and I'd be like, five more minutes, I'm writing. And I couldn't even write letters. I was probably like three. So, and I vaguely remember this. So, I don't know, it's just, it's in my soul. I'm just a writer. All right, number five is that I grew up in Southern California. So yes, I am a SoCal girl. I grew up in more of like the desert, but next to the ocean and kind of in the center of everything down in Southern California. It was, it was good to grow up there. Where I grew up is really small. Where I live now is still small. We have trees here and I grew up in the desert and I do not want to go back. I, I like me some trees and I like the South and it was just always a part of me. But I did grow up in Southern California and I still have tons of family there. And it's always fun to go home and visit and you cannot beat the food and the shopping there. Not at all. All right, number six is for my whole adult life, I was an optician, that was my job. And so it means that I worked with glasses and contacts. I have a couple of different certifications. I have a national certification through the American Board of Opticianry. And so I can make and sell glasses do contacts. I also did stuff with doctors and worked their patients up and I can work in ophthalmology or just regular eye doctor and I did it for 
almost 15 years, 14 years. I, it was something that when I went to college, I just kind of knew somebody who got me into the field and I was just gonna do it, you know, just because I needed a job in college and it ended up, I just really liked it. You can always find a job in it. Everybody has eyes. So I could always find a job anywhere that we moved and I just kept doing it. And so I actually made a really good career out of it. And in my past, I actually did work and I worked a lot and that was my actual career. Number seven is a super important one. I have been married for over 10 years now. I got married when I was 21 to a Marine and he lived in North Carolina, so I moved to North Carolina to be with him. And 10 years down the way, we're still together, going strong. It was the best thing I ever did to just kind of up and leave and take the shot and I will always look at it as probably one of the best decisions I ever made. Number eight is super funny because I met and married my husband in six months. Yes, met and married in six months. We met the end of February and we got married September. So we met and married within six months and for three of it we didn't live together or we didn't live like next to each other. I lived in California and he lived in North Carolina. We just kind of talked on the phone and then I went to visit him and then he asked me to stay and marry him and so I came back home and I quit my job. It took like a month. I like, <laughs> I didn't just come and quit my job but I got out of my lease, gave notice at my job and then just decided to leave and I left California June 1st and we got married September 1st. Number nine is actually probably the most important in my opinion is uh, people ask me all the time, what's your religion? They'll hear different things or see my writing or things like that. I like to tell people that I am a follower of Jesus. I believe in Jesus. And I know people normally say they're a Christian. That just doesn't do it for me. I don't even like that. I don't know. <laughs> and so I like to tell people that I'm a follower of Jesus. I believe in Jesus. I go to a Christian church. I believe in the Bible. And I think it is a super important thing in my life. I am super open-minded though. And I love to hear everybody's opinion. And I'm kind of one of those people that believes that we don't probably all have it figured out. And probably most of us are wrong. <laughs> and so I'm willing to admit that you just never know what the secrets of this universe are. This is something that is near and dear to my heart and so I always tell people that I'm a follower of Jesus. Number 10, I am a glass half full kind of girl. If there is a problem, if there is a conflict, if anything happens, I always try to look at the optimistic side. What can be better? What is good out of this bad situation? And I try to be super positive in life and I feel like that has gotten me through a lot of hard times in life and everybody has hard times in life and I feel like the glass half full really gets me through. Number 11, to go along with that, I always think there is a solution to a problem. And if I cannot find a solution, oh my gosh, it is a bad day. <laughs> this was something my mom always taught me. There is always something you can figure out. It's, you're just not seeing it at that particular moment, but there's always a solution. So this comes out, a lot of my friends, like when I tell them that, they'll be like, oh, you are like that. Because I always feel like there's a solution. There's something, we can fix it, we can figure it out. There's always something that you're just not seeing at that moment. So sometimes you just have to step back and really look and see how you can fix whatever it is going on. Because I feel like there's always a solution to every problem in life. Number 12 is I have another YouTube channel. It's my family vlogging channel. It is called Life as a Bird, and I will put the link up here so you guys can go check that out. We have been doing YouTube just on and off for a couple years, but not consistently at all. So this is probably the first time in a couple years that we've been consistent, and I'm really excited to kind of like start this new journey in my life and this new YouTube journey. Number 13, to kind of go along with that, I'm actually a blogger too. I have my own blog, it's called Remake Your Heart, and I will put you guys a link and let you guys know. It's just stuff that happens to me, stuff that comes to me. I really write for myself, and then I just kind of publish it out there. And I feel like you can always change yourself. We're always evolving, and I feel like 
Sometimes you can look at yourself and say, I don't want to be this person, and you can literally make your heart different. And so that's what I try to write about. I also write for a church called Harmony Church, and I will put the link below, but a lot of times it's cross-posted, so a lot of things I'll write for the church, I'll post on my website too. I'll leave you guys all the links to that so you can check it out and see if anything helps you. Number 14, I was a military wife for six years. My husband was a Marine, and he went on um, a bunch of deployments. It could be a whole video in itself. It's really like a whole different kind of way of living. It just really taught me to cherish the time that you did have and not to begrudge the time that you weren't given because no time is guaranteed to any of us. Number 15, I love paper and I love pens. Like, it is a really bad fetish. I love paper and I'm like super picky about it. So my mom will try to buy me journals and do stuff and sometimes I'm just like, oh, the lines aren't right. I can't write on it and she's like, what? I love pens. I love paper. It's crazy. I like a bunch of different kinds of pens. I love colored pens. It's just a terrible fetish. Number 16. I love to send thank you notes. I love to write an old-fashioned letter and put a stamp on it and send it in the mail. And I really love to send a thank you note. I think it's super proper to send a thank you note. And I'm almost offended when people don't do it. <laughs> You think if you get a thank you note in the mail, that's a nice thing, that somebody actually went out of their way and did that. So I love a thank you note and I love to send a thank you note because I really want people to know that I'm appreciative of them and I feel like that is a really good way to do it. Number 17, I love Christmas. Love, 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 love Christmas. And I love Easter. Love love Easter. I love Christmas because I just have such good memories of Christmas and I love the decorations. I love the way the world changes. I love that people get a little bit kinder. I love that people get a little bit more generous. There's so much of it I love and like who doesn't want to celebrate Jesus? And I love Easter because it's kind of the same thing. Like the world changes like you're in winter and it goes to spring and everything all of a sudden is green and lush and beautiful and flowers and it's just, it's that time of year that I really like. And because I told you guys that I was a follower of Jesus, Easter is a really important holiday in our religion. And we believe, you know, that this is the day that he rose from the grave and went up to heaven. If you are a Christian or a follower of Jesus, you understand that that's just like an, oh, this is so amazing that this happened kind of a thing. And so I think that's why I just love it so much. Number 18, I love to entertain and I love to buy dishes. My mom has a dish fetish and she has passed on to me. My grandmother had the same dish fetish. And so I love serving plates. I love regular plates. I love um, just dishes in general. And so when you're putting stuff out for a party and trying to make it all pretty, that is just so fun to me. Sorry guys, I had to readjust because my child just came out and gave me a hug. That actually goes into number 19. I only have one child because I have a blood clotting disorder that made me miscarry a lot of children. I miscarried four babies and then I had two atopic pregnancies. The first atopic pregnancy, my fallopian tube got kind of pulled away, it's not attached anymore. And I didn't know it for a really long time, like probably a good like five years. I didn't know it wasn't attached. And then I had another atopic pregnancy and they had to go in and actually take the whole tube out because it was just too deformed because the baby actually gets stuck in the tube. So they took out the tube. It was at that time that they looked and saw that my other one wasn't attached. So I can't naturally have any more children. I could go have like IVF or something like that to have children. And so that's why I only have one child. Okay, next one is I love me some trashy reality TV. I especially love Bravo's Housewife shows. Oh my gosh. It is like my kryptonite. Those women in their drama just crack me up and I think it's so entertaining. It's terrible. But no, I have always loved reality TV. I loved it when I was like a young teenager and I have always loved it. And it is terrible, but I just do. I just like it. So I actually try not to watch it, but here and there I'll find myself just binge watching some Housewives. All right, 21 I think is what we're on. I actually love to decorate and redecorate my house. So I love to watch like house tours on YouTube. I love to see how other people decorate their home. And I just love to like 
look and shop and decorate and redecorate and change out pillows or change out anything. So it's just, it's just something I like to do. I think I get it from my mom. <laughs> she likes to just mess with her house and always, you know, change and do stuff to it. And I'm kind of the same way. All right, 22. I am totally a Apple girl. I love Mac. I love Apple. My husband has kind of converted me over the years and now I can't go back. I know people love their Androids and I actually know that you can do a lot of things that you can't do on Apple products that you can do on like an Android phone. I'm still, I'm an Apple girl. To go along with love and Apple as I love rose gold. I actually have a rose gold iPhone and a rose gold Apple Watch. If I could have a freaking rose gold MacBook Pro, I totally would too. I just really like rose gold and I like it for decorating. I like to wear it. I just think it's a really fun shade. All right, 24. I am a prepper. I am a list maker. I am a girl that wants to write it all down before I get there. When I go grocery shopping, I absolutely have to have a list or I can't do it. I can't just go to the store. It's terrible. Even for like holidays, parties, things like that, I will write a list. I'm such a prepper and it's terrible. I just love it. I love a list. All right, my last thing is that I love movies. I love to go to the movies. I love having movie night here at my home. And we also have the tradition where we have TJF, which means Thank God It's Friday. Well, on Friday night, we'll get a movie or we'll rent a movie or something like that. We'll get, everybody gets to pick their own snack. That's something we've been doing since Ryan was like three. And it's actually a tradition that my mom did with us. So to pass that tradition on to my son is super special. And we just love movies. It's just a fun thing in our house. That is it for All About Me. I would love to know more about you guys. So if you have any quirky, fun things, or if you want to know more about me and have any questions, feel free to comment below. We'll just have a fun discussion about the whole thing. I hope that you got a little bit of an insight to me and my family and my life a little bit. And I would love to do another video like this going even deeper. I think it's fun when you really get to know them even through YouTube. If you haven't subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Also hit the bell notification so anytime I post a video, you'll know. I try to post Sunday through Thursday. It doesn't always work out that way, but that is my schedule. That's what I'm trying to do right now is Sunday through Thursday. Um, I should have all kinds of just fun videos up. So I will see you guys again. And if you have any videos that you want me to do, any suggestions, I am all ears. So just let me know.